Jessica, today is the day, the best day, the day that will change our lives and make our lives better than we could ever imagine. You are so beautiful in every way. You shine with God's light and make everyone around you better. Thank you for making me better. This marks the day that we become one and get to begin serving the Lord as a family. This will be the best adventure of our lives. You are the best adventure of my life. I love you, Daniel. We were in the car together driving somewhere and she tells me that she's decided that her word for the year was gonna be surrender because her timeline hadn't been working out very well for her, obviously. And so she decided that she was just gonna give it up and she was going to let God handle that timeline and she was gonna focus on pursuing her relationship with Christ and just see where that took her. And it's really funny because just a few short weeks after that, I get these frantic text messages and this phone call and she's just going crazy because she had gone on this date with some dude named Daniel and she just couldn't figure out if she wanted to see him again. And it took quite a few people and her parents and myself included and we finally convinced her that if she really wasn't interested, she wouldn't be having such a hard time deciding whether or not she should give him a second shot. And I don't have to tell you how it all worked out because here we sit with, with the newlyweds. Daniel, what an incredible experience God has given us through marriage, an opportunity to share the rest of our lives together and to serve Him in a way that we would not be able to do on our own. I cannot wait. Throughout our relationship, you have strengthened my relationship with God as you have shown me what unconditional love looks like, how to pursue Jesus, and how to keep Him at the center of your life. I promise to pray for you, honor you, and be faithful to you every single day of my life. I know that with God as our foundation, we will overcome whatever the world may throw at us. I'm so excited that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. What did I do to deserve Jessica? God has blessed me with you. That's about the best answer I can come up with. So I guess the answer is not that I'm a genius, but that God has blessed me beyond my wildest dreams. I promise never to take that for granted. Jessica, I promise to provide for you and take care of you. I promise to always seek the Lord and lead you selflessly. I promise to listen to you intently, love you purposefully, serve you graciously, and work endlessly to accomplish our goals together. I promise to be a goofball only most of the time. I promise to push you out of your comfort zone as I know you will do the same for me. I promise to never stop dating you I promise to always be faithful to you. I promise to always choose you. And I promise to love you forever. This is this is this is the time. This is like the, the part. Like this is this is the best part. By the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the power vested to me by the state of California, Daniel and Jessica, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride, Daniel. kids since they were babies and prayed for their spouses and Jessica you as your dad said to Daniel I am saying to you you are a direct answer to our prayers um, but as I've gotten to know Daniel and seen your guys relationship flourish um, you're a great guy and I'm so happy for you and Jessica um, the way I try to look at today is I'm really excited for today but what I think I'm most excited for is all the days in the future where we get to uh, do life together and hang out and can't wait to see what God does in your guys' life um, and what you guys do for the kingdom. 